Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Minecraft or Spawn Season 2 here on the channel today. Now guys, I did a little bit of off-camera work actually while setting up for today's video. I actually, uh, the wall of our prison, because this is a prison now if you guys didn't know, um, has, been, has made considerable progress. I implemented all the iron that we got last episode and um, added some more of our stone bricks as well. So, ooh, actually, ore spawn coin. Let me go get that. But, yeah, so currently our wall is looking pretty good. Currently, mobs can still get over it because I can still get over it. But, uh, we're... Oh, uranium nugget. I'll take that. But, uh, so far, so good. That's all I'm really saying. We're, we're doing pretty well. We actually had a bee attack the prison, and my girlfriend defended it with her life. Uh, she tried, at least. I think I, I think the bee, like, despawned or something. Because it didn't die, but I don't really know what happened. But, guys, if you have been enjoying the ore spawn content here on the channel, click that like button to show your support. If this video can get a whopping 20 likes, I will guarantee you a second ore spawn video at the end of this week. So, you guys know the drill. If you want if you want to see another ore spawn video, you just got to click that like button. Um, that being said, however, I also did move the uh, trophies around. The worms are now over here, and I kind of space, I kind of line those guys up a little bit more, because before we had, like, an ant back here, and anyway, so the more trophies we get, the more I'm going to have to organize this whole trophy setup thing. We don't even have a trophy room yet. Um, what I do want to put here is the storage room. Um, we might start working on that either off-camera next episode or just into next episode. And that being said, a few comments from you guys. First things first, you guys said you want to, to remind me to install the Better Dungeons mod, because I did promise that... Guys, Better Dungeons will be coming episode 15 of this series, so this is episode, I think, 10 or 11. So episode 15, Better Dungeons is guaranteed, unless it doesn't work. So like, if it, if it crashes the world, corrupts the world, does something to the world, then of course we're not going to be able to do Better Dungeons, and I'm not going to honestly waste my time and, well, honestly, yeah, time trying to get to work. If it crashes once, I'm just giving up on it and pretending like it can't work. So, just telling you guys that right now, but that's not to say it's not happening, just saying episode 15, if you see it, it's there, if we don't have it, then we don't have it. Um, that being said, what was another, oh yeah, you guys said you want me to install the TARDIS mod for whatever reason, um, I'm probably not just because I don't really care too much for the mod, I know you can do with it, but it's never been a mod I've been that interested in and or liked, so we're probably not gonna have that, um, and another thing, if you guys... I, I don't I don't mean to see seem like I'm accusing anyone of anything, but if you guys are trying to make this series as crazy craft as possible, don't even. Um like like if you're like, oh, I want this to feel like crazy craft, so I'm gonna ask him to install mods that are in the crazy craft mod pack. And, and for and for another reason, um I also saw somebody comment. I don't know if it was on last week's video of War Spawn, but the previous one or whatever, but somebody was like, why don't you just play Crazy Craft? You guys do realize Crazy Craft is a very unstable mod pack, regardless of what some people say. It almost always has some reason to crash or corrupt things. Um, whenever they made the Crazy Craft mod pack, they literally took things out of the mods and re like recategorized them and whatnot to make mods fit. And yeah, that was a good idea, but literally think of it as taking pieces of yourself off your body and then just like throwing it somewhere else and being like oh this will still function correct nope not really how that works so yeah i've never really liked the crazy craft series crazy craft one so two or three i think it's a great youtube series i think it's a great let's play opportunity but i think it's also a way to uh screw over your world if you're in the middle of a game and all of a sudden up oh, the world's corrupted well can't play anymore like that's really not what needs to be happening you guys know me i've always personally well if you stuck in my channel for a while i've always personally liked making my own mod packs for modded series i don't like relying on someone else's work per se per se so um just to say not to not to seem like i'm shooting down your idea but just saying like don't ever think that crazy craft will be a thing on this series i might add mods together that make it seem like crazy craft but that doesn't mean it's crazy craft and nor will i attempt to make it like crazy craft and is it, re is it just me or is it really hard to get saplings from these things? Off camera, I harvested one of these and I got one sapling and I placed it here. And now we just lost another sapling. Strawberries, am I right? But, uh, yeah, so that that's another thing. Another thing I've noticed is in our chest here, we have literally 22 titanium ning nuggets and uranium nuggets. So we have the ability to make the ultimate sword. Somebody pointed that in the comments last video or the video before. However, we're not going to be making it until we at least have ruby gear. So, so far, we're on emerald gear, that being the case. Another thing I wanted to see if we could make is... 
If we have obsidian, we need one more obsidian. Do I have obsidian nuggets? I have eight. Of course I have eight. Why would I not have nine? Okay, so we need one obsidian nugget to be able to make an enchantment table. Yeah, that's what I want to do today, folks, is make an enchantment table so I can enchant some of my weapons. If you guys didn't know, the ore spawn stuff is very high enchantable. Like, its enchant ratings are, like, crazy. Like, I could literally enchant the sword and get with a level one and probably get, like, sharpness three. That's how crazy it is. So we're going to head up to the forest bomb here and see if we can find inventory pet chest pet thing just so I can um, literally try to go for the emeralds. Or not the emeralds, what am I saying? The obsidian. So I think this that tree right there has. Well, normally if the tree is like fully intact still, that means it has a chest in it or it's just glitched somehow. But let's see what we got here. Also, you gotta love the caterpillar and the beavers for doing my work for You're me. So no, it's just the trees are glitched. That's fine. Actually, is there a chest? There isn't. No, there isn't one in there. Yeah, I don't know why the trees aren't de like depleting themselves. I couldn't tell you. I'm assuming maybe it's because they're like, since they were destroyed by a non-player, they don't comprehend that their wood is gone. That's really the best explanation I come up with. Also, another ant nest. Don't mind if I do. Um, but yeah, so just to recap my little announcements while we're looking for this this pet chest thing and hoping it has what we need. Um, so episode 15, if it works, we will have better dungeons installed. Uh, and is that a bee dungeon? That's a bee dungeon. No, that's a mantis dungeon. Okay, I'm going to put a waypoint here. Mantis dungeon. Before you say take it on, I will literally die right now. I'm not even going to. Yeah, I, I'm just not going to. Um, we're heading this way. But Mantis Dungeon is actually one of my first bad experiences with the Ore Spawn mod back in the day. Yeah, I kept trying to take on the Mantis Dungeon with just like iron gear. It wasn't really the best like decision I could have made in my lifetime. But my point being, also, I think this is a village. I don't know why the pathway is coming all the way out here. Like, this is a really long pathway for the village, but I'll take it. Um, it's also becoming nighttime soon as well. Maybe the village will have what we need. If it has a blacksmith shop, might have obsidian, might be really good. Um, we're also entering new chunks right now because my game is lagging. That's how I know that. All right, blacksmith, give me what we need so we can head home and finish off this episode. <laughs> Make a really short one. Come on. Nope, not what we need. Good items, but not what we need. Um... Now let's see any, I'm looking to see if there's any chests in the uh, trees. If you guys don't know how it works, essentially the chest will be at like the very top of the tree. And it can only happen in oak and, and birch trees. So, this is where we literally are right now. It is nighttime. Of course my video decided it wanted to stop rendering right in the middle. For some reason in 1.7.10, if my videos stop rendering, it, it, it closes me out, it prioritizes that and closes me out of my my current game uh only 1710 doesn't do that though because you probably have heard that ding sound before and my recording has been completely fine i had didn't have to take a cut but apparently i had to take a cut right there apologies to that but yeah where was i on my train of thought um not too sure but this is, i love in the fact that we can't really find what we're looking for here we are entering the swamp so maybe we'll find a stink bug kill that today I forgot about the stink bug and the jumpy bug. So, yeah, we could run into those guys, hopefully. Um. Hmm. But yeah, it's just no, I'm probably not going to add in, other than I promise better dungeons, but other than that, I'm probably not going to add in any more mods to this series, unless it's like a super tiny mod, like the, uh, like our nice, um, damage, uh, like armor status mod HUD thing that's at the bottom left of our screen. Other than stuff like that, we're probably not going to add any more mods to the series because I like to just do... When I do ore spawn, I like to just do ore spawn. Like, I don't like to do a hundred billion other mods with it because in my opinion, that takes away from the ore spawn aspect. And besides the point, you're never going to find another mod that's going to be as powerful as ore spawn and would balance with it. Like, better dungeons I'm installing just to add, like, the cool structures to the world. But you guys will see that I will be able to practically one-shot half the things in the better dungeons. Uh, well, dungeons. Because my gear is... I won't die because my gear will be too powerful. And my... Oh, there's a chest right there. Don't worry, guys. I saw it. Don't be commenting saying I missed a chest. It's back here. Um... But yeah, so either my gear will be too powerful, or my, uh, did that give me what we need? No, of course it didn't. Gave me a mushroom pet, though. 
Uh, bone meal effect and feels empty bowls of mushroom stew. Nice. What was that? What's that spark? Oh, it's a crystal. I'll grab that. It's a uh, explosive crystal. If you guys don't know, you can just basically throw these like the rocks and they'll do cool things like that. By the way, we just killed Mr. Figgle. If you guys know who that is, he's from my uh, Minecraft War series. Yeah, that felt good. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, better dungeons will be coming. Do not worry. Blah, blah, blah. Just don't expect any other mods after that point. Now, give me obsidian. Nope, but it gave us the squid pet, water breathing, underwater vision, swim boost, and sneak. Or sink to sneak. Sneak. Sit. Blah, blah, blah. Sneak to sink. That's what it's trying to say. Why was that so hard for me? <laughs> I don't know. Now. Come on, it's not that hard to get over. Fever, thank you very much. Just cleared out the way for me. Just give me a you know, Gave me a magnet cube pet with fire resistance and the walk on lava ability. I think the only time the magma cube pet has ever been useful was like at the beginning of a series and the person's mining and they needed to like quickly like do that. <laughs> oh, we just got two in a row magma cube pets. Hello. I don't know who that was. It just kind of hit them once and they died. Oh, we got ender nuggets now. Now we're really getting crazy in this whole thing. Let's get rid of the leaves. We won't need those. Um, yeah, I don't want to go into the spruce area because that is not... That is not what we are needing. And I'm just thinking about, wow, I wish I had a spruce biome currently in my other... So, it's not a series, but uh, me and my friends, I think I might have talked about this once already, are working on a 1.13 giant underwater slash overworld city project where we're basically just in survival mode. We're trying to build a giant city. Android oh, yeah. 17, hello there. Baby Android 17 at that. But yeah, so we're trying to build this giant city. And essentially, right now, we lack a spruce biome. And we need spruce wood, you know, to have spruce. And we really, we can't find a spruce biome currently. And I just think it's fun. Like, we found a jungle biome before a spruce biome. That's all I'm going to say about that luck. But, yeah, it's just kind of funny there. And is this not going to... Mmm, come on. How are we not finding what we need? Like, my girlfriend's here for good luck. Where, where, why aren't we getting our obsidian? There's literally two ways to get obsidian without doing it the hard way, and we can't manage that. Is that too much to ask for? Apparently. Skeletons, I don't want to deal with you right now. Girlfriend, take care of it. Good job, skeleton. Oh, hello there. You like having full gold gear. That actually took a few shots. Good job, man. Oh, we got another person. I want to ask you a question. I don't even know who that was, but we got his morph. Oh, now we got spiders attacking too? What is this madness? That is one day. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. destroying all those people. Yeah. So Alright, well. I don't think I have to worry about much as long as she keeps attacking them. I mean, remember guys, she may only have a sword that's doing five attack Smash damage because of the, oh. the amazing, you uh, so you, you know, so stone good. sword. But she's actually doing plus two on top of that. So, she's doing seven attack damage. So, she basically has a diamond sword. So... I think she can hit. I think she can hit as quick as me, if not a little bit faster. So, yeah, that's a thing. Also, we still can't find our chests. I'm loving it though. You know, if I could ask for one thing to happen, it would be for Ore Spawn to update to 1.8.9. That's all I would ask. Really. Oh, look, it's Link. Kill it. Nasty critter. And we have a you Cell Junior. So nice. Good. Man, we're running into everyone today. But. Yeah, like, if this, if Orspawn could update to 1.8.9, I would just be in heaven, honestly, because we'd find, we'd have the Guardians, we'd have a little bit better, like, uh, rendering of biomes and whatnot, we wouldn't have this, these weird lag spikes that we get whenever, uh, whenever we try to, um, like, load new chunks and whatnot. Now, I know 1.8 brings other issues to the table, but it's still, like, all around a better balanced version compared to 1710 like in terms of just overall like keep in mind regardless of what issues the next version versions of minecraft bring they always often resolve former issues that were problems so oh wait there's girlfriends here my girlfriend's gonna that be going crazy yeah i never i get why they, he did it but i never understand why the mod creator made like oh finally <laughs> chest. I never understand why you the mod creator made creator. it so like girlfriends you hate other her. girlfriends and like I said, like, I get it, but at the same time, like, really? <laughs> I 
Anyway, this should have what we need. Big critter. Now An Ender Room pet. Yep, that's exactly what I was talking about. No, definitely wasn't. The Ender Room pet's actually pretty decent. Because if I'm about to die, it teleports me away from danger. Yo, girlfriend, there's skeletons here. Can you take care of them? I don't really feel like it. Um, there's no chest there. Dang, why can we not? It's literally obsidian. Why is this so hard? <laughs> I've never had such an issue before, finding obsidian. Look at that, it's obsidian nuggets. That so... Wait, come on. Cows. Oh my gosh, we also need cows on that 1.13 survival too. Um, in terms of if I'll ever record on it, considering I can't record on 1.13, um, it might be a while for me to figure that out. But uh, definitely once the city is complete, which might take a year or two um, to, uh, at the rate we're going, uh, guarantee, like it's going to be a nice city. Like we're working on a, like it's going to be a huge project. Um, but with multiple people, I might add, but like worst comes to, oh, those, is that what we need? Wait, I think this is what we need. Wait, gas pet. Yeah, no, but I, there it is. Obsidian nuggets. Awesome. Pet beginner. What was this? Uh, acquire five pets. Nice. Nice. I'm just going to go to this village right now. And I swear to if this village has what I think it might have here, might as well grab the other inventory pet. That's like right here. But yeah, once the well, I keep the I keep getting off topic, but once the uh, once the, our city is done, I will definitely just record on it just for a day, just to show you guys everything, because it's pretty cool. Well, I, I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty cool. We didn't really start anything too much yet, but aw, okay. Well, time to head back. Casa de Village, here we come. I might have left my girlfriend behind, but that's okay. I oh, know she's here. She's good. I'm like looking at her as I'm saying it. like I might have left you behind, but that's okay. And she's like, wow Wow Some boyfriend you are All right, so I kind of also wish the inventory pets stacked if they were the same type, but I know that's kind of low-key impossible uh, So now that we got all of this done, let me take our obsidian that is a my part. Let me take our obsidian craft one more. Imagine I only need four. That would be really like, wow. Okay, so craft four. So now we just need diamonds. Oh, wow. Not like we don't have that. And then I should only need... Oh, wait. Bones. Throw that in here. Um, a book, which we have 40 of. So that's amazing. Now let me just do that. Do that. And do that. And well, bam. We got ourselves an enchant table. Now I don't entirely know where I want to set this thing up yet. I mean, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> so for now, I'm just going to kind of chuck it there. We can make books, but for now, I'm just going to not have books. I'm going to throw this in here. And like I said, literally level 5 enchant, sharpness 5, knockback 2, unbreaking 3. Bam. Uh, instantly amazing. What can we do for the pickaxe? Efficiency 3, the axe. Just do it really quickly on breaking 3. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that one. Efficiency 3, awesome, and for the hoe, we can't enchant hoes because this is not 1.8. That being said, guys, that is going to conclude today's episode. Um, really, it was just making enchantment table. It took longer than expected. Oh, wait, my armor. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Before we... Let me see if I can give my armor a little bit of levels. Here, let me do this with 1. That's protection 1. Protection 2. And we'll go all the way for this one. Protection 2, respiration 1. Awesome. So now we're really fully enchanted. That's amazing. And if you're worried about me wasting all those levels, don't worry, guys. I can get my levels back very easily with Ore Spawn. It's not that hard. Actually, really quick, let me show you guys a little trick with Ore Spawn. I don't know if any of you know to do this. But if you have an Ancient Dried Spawn Egg, take it, place it down, and wait. This should work. Or wait, is this the not? Oh, yeah, this does work. Okay, so literally, if you just keep placing the ore down, you'll get experience for breaking it. And you can literally just infinitely do that. It's hilarious and honestly not really that meta, but if you're lacking a level or two, you can do it. Like, because I'm already at almost two levels again. But guys, that's going to include today's episode. Remember, smash that like button if you want to see this series again this week later on Meeting Friday. Remember, the like goal is 20. And I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.